Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. This is going to be State of the Game for April 18th, 2018, and the release of a public version of a demo. And this is only a small portion of the game, so keep that in mind. And the stuff that's going to be in this particular release, and I'm sure a lot of the, the Paragon people are going to be looking forward to something, this is not going to contain any of the Paragon content in this version. This is going to contain the third-person combat mode that has been in development off and on for a bit longer uh, than we've done anything with Paragon. And I'm not going to show any of the Paragon content until I've got more done and more refined. And we'll leave it at that. So, what do you get? The link is in the description for the download. Um, it is also available in the public lobby of my Discord channel. And if you don't see it, then somebody can repost it, or I can repost it there as well. Um, the game itself is at, in early, early phases of development. In fact, about 98% of the game, anything that's been done so far, has been by me. All the people's content will be showing up very soon so look forward to that um, I've got a lot more things planned for this and this is only one game mode the game itself will be featuring multiple game modes including a, a paragon type mode um, there will be um, third person combat there will be RPG elements there's gonna be a lot of different elements that are going into this game besides just a third person shooter or just a MOBA or just a whatever. It's more of a, a conglomeration of multiple games that you launch from a central lobby system which will be showcased more later. Um, in fact, once you go into the game, single player button is temporarily disabled um, because I wanted to work on that a little bit more. So that map is temporarily disabled. Uh, however, the multiplayer does work. All the replication works. Um, for the most part, the bots were just kind of thrown in just as something to, to shoot at for those who live in an area that you know can't find anybody to play with. The game is Steam-based. You will need to have Steam account running in the background. You don't have to have it open. It just has to be there. So, being that it is Steam-based, the game will be released on Steam, so therefore you're going to have to have a Steam account and have it set up and running. But for now, um, when you first get the, the game itself, you download it from my Google Drive account, you extract it, and what you're going to get is these files right here inside of the demo. And all you're going to have to do is double-click on this file right here, Cog Demo. Once you double click on that, it'll run everything, do everything, and it'll go directly into the game. And I will quickly go over the controls for people to learn and know what they're doing. The normal controls, WASD on your keyboard, and your left mouse button to fire. Right mouse button will put you into combat mode so you can use your weapon. On the sniper rifle, which is weapon number two from the weapons table, you hit the middle mouse button and it'll bring up your sniper reticle. It's the only one that has that feature is, is weapon number two, the sniper. There's weapons tables that are positioned around the map and when you go up to that table you press the number one key. If you already, what you're already equipped with is a pistol and an M4, but if you go back up to that weapons table and hit the number one key it will replenish your M4's ammo, but if you hit number two key, you will get a sniper rifle. The number three key, you will get a shotgun. The number four key, you will get an AK-47. And the number five key will give you a rocket launcher. And that is a temporary weapon that may or may not remain in the game. I left it in there for the sure fun of it. So you've got five, five main primaries. If you want to draw your pistol while you're in combat, you hit the Q key and it will draw your pistol out and you can begin firing. You do have to have your pistol holstered before you can use the weapons table. In the event that you do die, and you can die from gunfire or from 
falling, there is fall damage. So with that being the case, if whenever you do die, just hit the P key and you will be able to respawn. So, okay, those are the controls, plus there is an escape key. Hit the escape key to go back to the main menu, which will end your session. So if you want to join another game or rejoin that game or host your own, feel free to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and run the game. I'm just double clicking on, on the card demo. And this is the main menu for now. Name of the game. This is a temporary menu. So a lot more is going to change. Um, you're going to have, if you are connected to Steam, it will show your Steam username and avatar here. If it has anything else, then you are not connected to Steam. And if you're not connected to Steam, it will say, go connect to Steam, dummy. So check to make sure that's there before you try uh, hopping in game and, and playing with somebody. For now, this is your character in the menu. There will be a character selection later. I'm taking it out temporarily just because, well, whatever. And these two guys right here, they will randomly change between like six or seven different characters. And I'll do some more to smooth out their animations. So they're random. Every time you come into the main menu, these two guys will be random. Plus, you got these nice little ceiling fans up there. They operate at random speed, so you'll notice that as well. So I'm going to go into multiplayer. And from the multiplayer, if you want to find a game that's already being hosted, click on Find, and then Find Lobby. And then it will search and see if anybody else has a game hosted. And I'm going to turn my volume down just a little bit so I'm not bleeding in over the mic. Sorry. Um, if you want to host your own game, click on Host. Select one of the four maps. And I'm going to go through the maps quickly to show you what each of them look like. And then if anybody wishes to play, you can let me know. And I will either host or you can host. And we can shoot a little bit and have some fun. So the first map, I'm going to click on this Beefalo Bill. The name will change. And we'll just give it a name of live stream and sample. And it doesn't matter what you really call it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and hit make. And it will load into the map. Now, this map is definitely under construction. See, we've got uh, some bots that are roaming around randomly. This is the weapons table. So, again, you walk over and. For some reason, it's not showing the correct textures on the guns, but that's not a problem. So again, number one gun is your M4. And if you need to reload, you hit the R key. Now you get the number two, which is your sniper. You Right-click to go into combat mode, middle mouse button to get a sniper reticle. These guys are purely bossy. And the death animation is not working correctly on them just yet, but oh well. So we go to the number three weapon, which is your shotgun. Now the um, the table collision I need to, to work on as well. I mean, pardon my containers. This is something I, I slapped together in about five minutes for the two different type of containers. Go to weapon number four, which is your AK-47. And the weapon sound I will be changing as well. And weapon five is your rocket launcher. So I'm actually going to switch out to weapon number two, which is my sniper. And I started working on these little setups for sniper hides, where you can come over here, climb up, and hit C to crouch. And I said this map is a long way from being finished. You've got uh, sniper positions on the other side. Eventually this will be a team versus team map. I think that was a good shot. So you can crouch down behind here. And the whole thing with it is each of these two forts on the other side. Q key, let's switch over to my pistol. And... They're running around with weapons in their hands, but they're actually not um, able to use their weapons just yet. So, this is the other type of uh, containers which are open. 
Which is weird, is they're showing up the correct textures on this table, but they weren't on the other one. There are health kits, so if you do get damaged taken, you can grab a hold of these health kits. They have a uh, respawn time as well. So I will run over here. There is only one way in and out, or one way in to each of the two main forts. And then we'll have some center fort ideas and places to go to. With a weapon stable hidden inside here as well. And I did not include any health on this one. So if you're trying to sneak across, there will be stuff to help you try to sneak from obstacle to obstacle to get across so that you can try to get in here and have this one little narrow bridge to go across to get in this side. And then you can come over and get to the two different sniper uh, spots. Try to make them a little bit weird and unique. So this one's made out of bus stop signs and road signs and whatnot. And some are made of vehicles and pieces, parts, and whatnot. This one's just a pile of junk cars. This is actually going to be like a junkyard kind of feel to it when I get done. So, can I help you? One thing to be aware of. Rocket launcher is prone to killing yourself with it. Yes, Rose. Go away. So, so, if you do take damage, you do not automatically regen health. You have to find these first aid kits. And they have a pretty good respawn time. And if you do decide, hey, I, well, I'll just jump in the water and swim across. No. Instant death. So you hit the P key, respawn, and get back at it. There's about a dozen respawns on this particular map here. So, yep, that is the beginning part of this map. This one is far from being done. I started on it this morning and was trying to hammer out a few things. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and transition to the next map. So you hit escape. You can either hit resume game and keep playing, or you can go ahead and hit to go back to the main menu. See, other, these two guys are different now. And this one's slow, this one's fast. Okay, I noticed little dumb things like that. So, I'm going to host another one. And... Live stream game. Let's go to the Polygon City. Now, if you're clicking through here, when you check the, uh, the box, it automatically unchecks the other boxes as you check another one. Doesn't seem like much. That took me about two hours to figure it out. So let's go ahead and run this one. Alright, so this has got a few more different things to look at. A whole lot more actors, a whole lot more work done. And this is actually the, the city map. You can see I got a bunch of the guys running around. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my sniper rifle because that's my favorite. So you got... Why is there a hamburger just floating in the air here? That hamburger was never placed there. Unreal Engine 4 has been doing some really bizarre junk lately and just placing things or moving locations of, of objects with no rhyme or reason, you know, and it's just been happening a lot. Well, I missed the elevator here, but there's elevators that'll get you to little sneaky areas which we'll wait for this one. And a little bridge goes off and ends. And of course you go into the water there. You will die. Because there's no way to get back out of it. So you come over here to the elevator. And I didn't make this platform. I will be changing it though. You come over here. These buildings were never meant for you to be on top of. So the collision is not exactly right. So you're like hovering a couple feet in the air. Come over here, hop on this second elevator. You can already see that you've got some um, pretty good vantage points. But you can come over here, and if you miss, you will fall, and it does hurt. So that was intentional, leave a gap there. So if you get cocky trying to get up there on the, uh, the rooftop, there is always that chance you can fall and fail. Health kit wise, there are health kits scattered around the city. 
Um, areas that have multiple sniper vantage points over will also hold the um, the health kit. So you can actually go around here and find these. The smaller the health kit, the faster it respawns. So if you sit here and loiter in the park trying to get all your health back up, you can do that. By the time you've collected all of those, then that one's back. Now this one's back. So you can sit here and run in a circle and recoup all your health. But while you're hanging out here in this uh, park trying to recoup all your health, people are going to be shooting at you and, and yeah. So, right now the ATMs are non-functional. As part of the game mode system later on, what will happen is as you're collecting money, you'll be able to, from kills and, and you know, in single player or whatever, as you're collecting funds, you can go to the ATM and make a deposit and put that into your, your central bank account. But for right now, they're, they're temporarily disabled. I was having some replication issues with it in the, uh, the menu, so I just need to clean up that. So, this is a pretty good sized city and plenty of places to run around and hide. There's a couple of elevators here and there that will get you to different vantage points and in parks. Now there is a slight collision bug with this piece right here. I usually have that fixed by now, but I just keep forgetting. So you'll have to jump to get in and out of, of that. And it's just that terrain piece. So it's not a big deal, but it is a pain in the butt. So little things like you come over here and you fall down the hole. Um, you can hide down here. There's nothing in here. They're blocked off to keep you from falling on, uh, under the map. <coughs> so like I said, there, you see these elevators. You can hop on them. Sometimes it's just one that'll get you to a rooftop. I don't know what that was about, but well. So you can take advantage of these to to have places to hide. Pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the main menu. Let's go to the next map. And host, and we're gonna check out the bank heist. Now, this particular map is smaller area, meant for fast-paced action for running around. It's walled off. That's all there is. Gonna be this this little bank, and you can run around. There's first aid kits scattered all over the place. There's ammo all over the place. Um, weapons. Uh, tables laid out. They seem a little bit on the stupid side, but they will, as they're, they seem like they get stuck, then um, they will correct themselves after a few seconds. They do have a random delay system, so they'll run to a certain location and then they'll, they'll stop and they'll wait for a random length of time, and then they'll resume on their own. So once you kill the bots off, you know, they're, you know, if there's other players in here, then I'm, you know, I hear another player. And right now you'll see player names sitting over the top of their heads. So who is shooting at me? Because the bots don't shoot. see you trying to be sneaky yeah I need to bring the grenades back I was having some problems with the, uh, the amount of um, delays and getting all the, the stuff replicated for the um, the actual um, response what was happening was um, That's the problem with these things is the grenade launcher doesn't always clear the um, the table. You know, it's, it's not possible, not possible. Who is sneaking around trying to shoot me in the back? Am 
I see you. But you didn't see where I just went. <laughs> the thing is, this whole thing is set up to be a fast-paced... Fast map. And if you already have a certain weapon, like number five, you can go to the weapons table and just... Um, by hitting the same number. Oh, that sounded like a death. And now here, with the random spawns, everybody spawns inside. However, you can run around the outside of the building. It's a little cheap if you have the rocket launcher, but it will bite you in the ass if you don't be careful with it. Made some changes to the, uh, the shotgun as well. <laughs> so I think. The rocket launcher is a little bit cheaty because you don't have to directly hit somebody. Oh no, gotta reload though. You don't actually have to directly hit somebody. And if you get him cornered, oh, and he shot himself with the table. Yeah, you gotta fix that bug with the table. That's <laughs> so what'll happen if you're too close to the uh, the actual table. It will actually damage yourself. So we're gonna hit the P key to respawn. And let's grab the AK-47 just to be a little bit different. Oh, all this free money. Yay. I'm trying to juggle more of the, uh, the actual weapon damages. Yeah, he drew back a nub, though. That's the, the, the cool thing about um, having these bots here. They're very distracting. You, you think it's another player coming in. Sneaky, huh? Suicide by rocket launcher. Actually, let's go back to the AK. So you gotta have your primary weapon out you can change over. Let's absolutely be sneaky here. For the astute of you who might have seen, there was um, a bot up on the rooftop. Totally sneaky. Some people would figure this out on their own, but if you're watching this video, then you can... You can see what I'm doing here. And I've included a weapons thing up here. So 
So yeah, you got the ability to be a little on the cheaty side and, and go up there. And yes, you can fall through there. And no, I haven't put a chat in here yet, but I will. I figure most people are actually using Discord or a different chat system anyway. So you have to look. Only certain areas have the open rooftop. And you can only sprint when you don't have a weapon out. When you're in combat mode, you cannot sprint. Alright, you're ready to go to the other map here. I just wanted to show that um, you could actually come over here, jump up, get up onto the rooftop, and be a dirty little punk and hide around up top. I gotta work on the replication of the. Um, the NPCs so everybody sees whenever one of them gets killed so that the actual death animation will replicate. But you can jump down and there you go. And of course your pistol works pretty good. Strong, semi-automatic only, limited ammo, but awesome. Alright, let's go to the next map. Alright, see the, the people have changed each time here. And the final one is a DPS demo. So, you want this one? I'm gonna go ahead and go to my trusty sniper rifle. And this is an open world map, or not really open world, but just a larger map. A lot more room to roam, a lot more places to hide, a lot more long range stuff you can do. So, if you're, if you're playing around with this one, there's a lot of cool things you can do on this map, and a lot of fun you can have. So, you can choose to hide out in the hills and be a dirty little sniper. And these NPCs that are sitting most of them are actually killable. They will die and automatically respawn. The guys in the red jackets, whenever they die, they just die. They don't respawn yet. So, for anybody who wants to jump on board and join the team, create some maps, you know, we've got a certain level of, of um, assets that we use for the team, um, but we're always looking for more people to help with the, the Paragon stuff, so if, if you're wanting to see more of the Paragon based things, getting shot at the sniper. Just because you're ducked down and right over here doesn't mean you're always safe. So, yeah. Feel free to jump in, download the game, test it out, play with your friends, play with yourself, whatever you want to do. current maps that are in here. They're fun to play around with, but there's going to be a whole lot more to come with all this stuff. So these are just temporary placeholder maps. Um, the one Beefaloville map will be evolving 
and be a whole lot more. I hear you try to shoot me the whole time I'm trying to talk. So, yeah. And one of the things I did forget to update was the attenuation settings for the gunshots. I keep forgetting. It, it just will take me a couple seconds per gun, per shot, per sound file, per whatever, to actually get them to do it. But, I didn't do it. So, hope you guys enjoy what, what's out now. And, like I said, I'll be playing it pretty regular. If you want to host your own games, go right ahead. Um, but, keep tuned. Discord. And, I'm getting killed here while I'm just sitting here talking about the game. So, the, um... The game progress itself, keep checking in, um, keep asking questions. If you want to join the team, then that's cool. Um, let me know. Check in with me on Discord. If you want to provide maps for the game, that would be great as well. Um, there's no special requirements for the map development. Um, I do provide, you know, prefer that if you're going to use any of the, the polygon assets, from Cinti Studios, preferred, um, then that's fine. I've got all of them except for the latest two that, that just came out. One of them's the Wild West, and the other one is World War II. And as soon as we can get our hands on the World War II version, there will be a World War II game mode. <coughs> and being that I, I don't have the extra funds myself to actually put in the, uh, the money to actually buy it, then if you guys want to contribute to the game, that will be outstanding. Um, same with, um, with that. If you want to jump in and chip in via PayPal, and that would be fine for a one-time. Um, just drop a cash or a donation. The other option would be to go through Patreon and pledge, you know, $5, $10, $20 a month so that I can remain here and actually be able to keep working on, on this game and the other games that we're working on, or the other modes for this game we're working on. Um, I do not have any source of income whatsoever, so if you guys would like to see the World War II part, and unfortunately the Cowboy one is not released on UE4 just yet, um, so... It is out on Unity, but I don't use Unity. I use Unreal Engine 4. So, if you guys want to see the World War II version, you guys need to let me know. And you guys are going to need to help chip in for that. I know it sounds like a begathon. I'll do a separate video just on that. However, um, nothing comes for free. Although, this is free for anybody to download and play. Um, once we get our hands on the World War II version, then what will happen is I will develop a whole series of maps just for that game mode, or that particular mode, which will be World War II. And then with that, it comes with aircraft. And I will um, make a usable aircraft. Uh, so you might be able to fly around in a Stuka or a Spitfire or what have you. Um, there's also tanks. So if you want to see tank warfare, then that'll be in there as well. So you can create different game modes. It'll be tank versus tank, or aircraft versus aircraft, or air to ground, or ground to air, or what have you. Um, I will create a lot of other assets to go along with that. And anybody else who is part of the team would like to contribute other assets, then we can create and build other tanks. We can add other aircraft, other new weapons, and so forth. And the possibilities open up greatly just by having that asset pack plus the, the cowboy pack. Then we will have a Wild West mode. Um, current planned other modes include um, the pirate theme with muskets and sabers and cannons and ships and so forth. Um, we also have a samurai theme. We've got the, uh, the knights. No horses yet, sorry. But... So you do have the uh, the knights in shining armor and uh, 
we're working on some other stuff like a Roman version. Uh, we've got some other stuff planned as well. But the reason why I chose to go with the um, the polygon feel or the, the low, lower poly. And so it's not a true low poly. If you look at um, most of the regular characters, like this is um, some of the mocap stuff here, oh, these characters. That's, that's it. Um, that's it. That's yeah, they're, they're fine. But the more realistic you try to make a game, then the more realistic it's going to have to be. And if you stick with a low poly feel, then you can actually stick with that, that theme. These weapons look perfectly fine. Like the AK he's got in his hands looks perfectly fine. I do have to fix the animations a little bit better, but for the uh, the hand positions. But that's just my thing. I haven't done it yet. Um, same thing with the uh, the pistols, the rifles, the shotgun. You know, all the stuff that's here. It works. So. We keep adding more stuff here and there. But I hope you guys enjoy what you're seeing, and hopefully you'll, you'll jump in, play around with it. I'm trying to see if I can glitch it. Every so often, there's a slight glitch when you stand where this guy was, or where the other guys were. So I'll continue to work on game modes, maps, and so forth, and try to get more content put out for this. So, as we get each theme done, the weapons platform system that I'm working on includes the ability to bring in melee weapons. Uh, as you see, we've already got the firearms, which I can quickly change that out to be muskets and so forth. Um, whenever we bring in the melee and magic and other stuff like that, it opens up more possibilities. And the way everything is configured to run, everything is built in to make it a lot easier to work with for the guys on the team to be able to quickly put out more content or um, upgrades. So I'll keep tweaking all that stuff and getting it working correctly, you know, one thing at a time. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and end the stream, and I will go ahead and continue playing it a little bit. But I wanted to share this with you guys and get some thought on, on what you guys want to see. If you're not familiar with the, uh, the Cindy Studios, the, uh, the guns come from the Polygon Heist Pack, and the, um, the characters currently are, are from the, um, the Steady Pack. So I've got all of the, uh, the Polygon Studio stuff except for the Wild West and the War Pack, and I would like to add both of those to what we have so we can continue to bring out more game modes. And what I'll look into is trying to get um, another game mode ready, but I would like for you guys to help out a little bit. Like I said, I'll make another our video here that'll be based off of um, what we need how you can help. All right, well, you guys, thanks for watching. Jump in, play the game. The link is in the description. It's also in my Discord, so feel free to grab it from there. Download it. It's free. No bugs, no viruses, no nothing. I'm too lazy to make viruses. So I got way really too much other stuff that I'm worried about, that I'm not worried about um, doing the uh, bugs and viruses. So rest assured that it's good to go. I mean, it's on Google Drive. You know, it's linked to my Google account, so it's very unlikely that I would put anything up there that would jeopardize my Google account. So, yeah, and here's your weapons. Of course, the sniper rifle actually does have a scope on it, but the version that you see on the table does not. Same thing with the M4. There's a red dot optic on it. If I go back to weapon number one. And get for my pistol. You see, it does have a red dot optic on there. Later on, what I will be doing is when we go into combat mode to aim, I'll probably go back to what I was doing before and put you in first person mode. So, specifically, if your weapon has a red dot optic on it, when you go to look through your, your aim mode, then you'll actually see through the reticle of the, the scope itself. The pistol, 
the flashlight is temporarily disabled, um, but this version does have a flashlight, where you see the version that's on the table does not. I have two different versions, so I have this pistol with and without the, uh, the flashlight. I will be adding the flashlight to the M4, we'll add it to the shotgun, and the other pistol. We'll make that other pistol available, and I'll probably put one on the AK, and the little MP5 pistol there, MP5K. The submachine gun on the top right hand corner is probably going to replace the rocket launcher later on, but for now, I'll just leave the rocket launcher in here for, for the grins. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here, and like I said, I'll make another video later that is dedicated towards talking about what we need and how you guys can help with um, getting new products out, and we'll continue to get free versions updated on a regular basis, but the closer we get to actually releasing on Steam, then we'll actually um, go into a, a paid version of the, um, the demo, and the paid version will have much, much more content than just what you see in this one right here. Alright, we will see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.